Welcome to the 15 most dangerous foods in the world, including some obscure ones that can kill in minutes. Everyday foods which cause slow damage if not prepared correctly, dishes to avoid when traveling, and a few you should keep away from pets. Firstly, you might know that many unexpected leaves are surprisingly good to eat like dandelions, carrot tops, and beet greens. However, Ruver Rubrabam leaves eaves ain't one of them. While rhubarb leaves aren't as deadly as some on the list, they're full of oxalic acid which causes kidney stones, as well as toxic anthraquinone glycosides. Symptoms are generally mild, but serious poisoning and death can occur. Notably, during World War IE, the food situation was desperate, and the British government mistakenly recommended people eat rhubarb leaves, leading to a spike in kidney-related deaths. Next. You can't beat a good elderberry pie, but things can easily go wrong. When they're raw or unripe, elderberries contain cyanogenic glycosides, also known as cyanide. Levels reduce as the berry ripens, and proper cooking destroys any remaining traces. You'd need to eat a lot of elderberries to get a lethal dose, but you might end up with a nasty case of vomiting, weakness, and problems focusing. At number 13, we have ackee fruit, the delicious symbol of Jamaica. When ackee is unripe, it contains high levels of the poison hypoglycan. The fruit needs to open naturally, then it's ripe and less poisonous. But that's not all. At this point, you can only eat the white fleshy part, avoiding the pink bits in the seeds. Getting this wrong can lead to vomiting, seizures, and even coma or death. More travel warnings coming up. But first, there's a bigger danger lurking on every street corner, hot dogs. No, for the moment, we're not talking about the rubbish ingredients, but the fact that hot dogs are one of the worst choking hazards. According to Johns Hopkins Medicine, hot dogs are the single biggest cause of food-related choking in children under three. So take care, don't rush, and don't eat while walking, especially with children. Staying with clumsy mishaps, they may be a superfood for your heart, but avocados are one of the most common causes of knife injuries. In fact, there's a name for it, avocado hand. This happens when people try to remove the avocado stone with a sharp knife. The knife slips and goes straight through to your hand. Likewise, slicing bagels is a bad one too, with one set of hospital data finding that in a single year, nearly 2,000 people cut themselves so badly that they had to attend the ER so pay attention while making your avocado bagels. We've got another everyday food coming up shortly, which can cause serious gut damage if you don't prepare them correctly. But first, are you enjoying this? Please click the like button, and for really useful nutrition videos updated weekly, click subscribe. Next, some travel tips. Anyone for live octopus? If you visit Korea, be aware of Sanokji. Right before serving this dish, Tentacles from live octopi are chopped up, then you eat them while they're still moving. Now, octopi have extremely strong suction, and if you don't quickly destroy the suction cups by chewing, they can attach to the roof of your mouth or even worse, your throat. Around half a dozen people die every year eating sanokji, so skip sanokji and go for kimchi instead. I hear it's super good for your heart. At number 9, be careful with tropical reef and warm water fish. Ciguatera poisoning is common in the Caribbean, Pacific Islands, Indian Ocean, and the Gulf of Mexico. Ciguatera poisoning comes from fish contaminated with natural toxins produced by coral reef algae. It can happen in many reef fish, including grouper, barracuda, sturgeon, sea bass, red snapper, amberjack, parrotfish, and triggerfish. Some of these can be found in different parts of the world, but what we're really concerned about are the ones grown around reefs. Jumping to the cold water now, hakarl is made from the fermented meat of Greenland shark. Now, shark in general is pretty toxic, but Greenland shark takes things to a whole new level. Greenland sharks don't have urinary tracts, meaning toxins are filtered through its flesh. This process actually stops them from freezing in the cold Greenland water a natural antifreeze. But this also means that the meat is full of urea and trimethylamine oxide. When making hakarl, the meat is buried underground to ferment for several weeks, 
then hung to dry for months. If done correctly, this process neutralizes the toxins. Our next food can kill in minutes, but first, another everyday danger, don't eat unboiled kidney beans. Kidney beans need to be cooked correctly. Soak them overnight, then boil them for at least 10 minutes. Many people make the mistake of slow cooking kidney beans, but low temperature cooking can actually increase their toxicity fivefold. At number five, mushrooms are nature's gamble. Tuck into a plate of shit to take, and you're in umami heaven. But make it a wrong pick in the wild, and you could be in a world of trouble. Amanita phalloids, the so-called death cap, looks a lot like mushrooms that people consume for more esoteric reasons. Then you've got the angel of death, causing gastrointestinal distress, followed by a false recovery period with severe liver and kidney damage. Now, back to the obscure. At number three, we have ergotism, a form of poisoning from consuming rye or other cereals contaminated with ergot fungus. During the Middle Ages, outbreaks of ergotism were common in Europe, leading to gangrene, seizures, mania, and hallucinations. It's believed that ergotism was responsible for the bizarre behavior that led to accusations of witchcraft during the Salem witch trials. At number two, we have the famous fugue, or pufferfish. A single fugu fish has enough tetrodotoxin to kill 30 people, yet it's a culinary delight in Japan. Chefs undergo years of training to master the art of fugue, learning how to carefully remove its toxic liver, ovaries, and skin. In 1958, a staggering 176 people died from fugue poisoning, with thousands more hospitalized. Fortunately, it's down to single digits most years now, thanks to strict laws. However, shocking stories appear from time to time, like the 15 deaths in 2007 when unscrupulous vendors in Thailand sold puffer fish meat as salmon. And our number one most dangerous food, one that's hiding in plain sight, According to the University of Oxford, up to 70% of food sales in the United Kingdom are ultra-processed foods. Researchers believe that in the last decade, poor diet has overtaken smoking as the number one cause of premature death, and ultra-processed foods are a major culprit. We're nutrition nerds here at Heart Disease Code, and it seems that rolling the dice with fugue may be a safer bet than the ultra-processed foods sold in every supermarket. Even better, or eat more of our top seven foods to clean arteries and prevent heart attacks. If you enjoyed this, it click the like button and click subscribe to see more practical heart health videos as we release them.